would recommend this residency program because I think it prepares you for whatever uh, matters to you and what matters to you in your career. Uh, whatever path you want to take within urology, I think it will be supported here and I think you'll be very well prepared to do that moving forward. We have excellent uh, surgical training and mentors. We have uh, excellent research opportunities. And then the people here uh, from the attendings to the co-residents uh, to the support staff and everyone that works in the department and the people of Iowa are just genuinely kind and caring individuals. And that really makes it a nice uh, supportive place to complete your training. The program itself um, I think has a, a wide range of operative experience, but I think that our clinical volume is really high um, in, a, in a setting that's extremely convenient. Um, so we are the only academic center in Iowa. We get a obviously great experience for being the only academic center that covers the entire state. Um, and then we also are in a town that's you know a really reasonably small town and our quality of life is excellent. Um, so not only do I get to drive only 10 minutes to work, cover only one hospital when I'm on call, um, I also get an excellent clinical experience and um, a ton of crazy cases that we get to deal with and um, that we get to treat, so it's really great. We have really great staff here at the University of Iowa. I think one thing that stands out to me is just how approachable they are and how collegial the whole department is. Our department is somewhere in the middle between big and small, but I think it's just right. So we've kind of hit the, the Goldilocks level of we're big enough to cover all subspecialties and have a lot of different uh, backgrounds, people who are one year out of training, people who are towards the end of their careers. And I think that diversity in mentors uh, really provides us with an incredibly comprehensive uh, training. The residents have a very intensive second year and I usually tell them by the end of that year you could almost go out and practice. You could do about 70% of what you need to do in practice because they become very proficient endoscopically and uh, in clinic they see the spectrum of uh, urology. And then as they get into their later years they get more into robotics and laparoscopic surgery and some of the bigger open cases. So we try and uh, scale it so we give them the things they're ready for. Uh, it wouldn't make much sense to have somebody who's very junior doing a major uh, cancer operation. They wouldn't gain as much as somebody who's more senior. So we try and uh, match the procedures uh, with the skill level of the resident. I think the great part of this residency program is really seeing how every resident from year to year just gets exponentially better clinically, they get more autonomous, the chiefs are you know, only at the beginning of their year but they're ready to go out and you can tell. And the other staff and departments clearly trust them and um, I think it's really great to see that as an intern because you know that you're going to get the autonomy and you're going to get the independence to go wherever you want after training, whether it's private practice or a fellowship. Um, so I think I'm just getting set up in a great way. Our faculty are, are, are pretty uh, engaged in our, in our learning, they're fun, uh, I think we, they have a very open door policy, we're commonly able to stop by, ask them questions, you know, after a case or, or before a case, um, they're certainly happy to talk through why they're making decisions that they do, and I think, um, like I mentioned before, I think they give us a great deal of autonomy and are really invested in our learning. I think what makes a program unique is really the people and the environment that we work in. Um, the residents are a great group. They work well together. They're very um, collegial, a lot of good, strong camaraderie. They're there to support one another through the great things in life, the hard things in life. And I think that's one of the unique aspects or great aspects of the program. Yeah, the other residents are my rock. They've gotten me through residency during the hard times. Um, when you have a hard day, they're there. They understand what you're going through. Um, they kind of put things in perspective. You can vent to them. Um, we all work in one resident room, which um, not very many programs have, honestly. Um, and basically, all re most residents are working there. And so if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like the day was hard, um, you get to go in and talk to your co-residents and they, they lift you up. Um, we're a very collaborative program, we work together, um, we're not really competitive or anything like that um, and we really want everyone to succeed and we want everyone to get out on time and go see their families and have a life. Um, so I think that you know, your co-residents are people that you lean on heavily during residency um, and I've, I've formed friendships that will last a lifetime here. Our goal in the urology program at the University of Iowa is to really develop well-rounded surgeons but also well-rounded individuals. And we want to provide the tools that are necessary so that people can go out after they're finished here and decide how to chart their own path, whether that be a fellowship or academic medicine or entering into private practice. Our goal is really for them to be successful at whatever they're interested in. 
Residency program really does set us up for a successful future, and I think what's most important is that it sets us up for whatever we want our future to be. People can have very successful academic careers. Uh, people match into very competitive fellowships at excellent institutions. Uh, people also go into private practice careers that are incredibly fulfilling and span coast to coast. So really whatever is important to you is supported by the department here. I've never felt pushed in one direction or another and, and people are really interested in, in your own development and what's going to matter for you long term. And I think all that personal connection uh, and what interests us, uh, we're able, really able to sort of choose our own adventure as we progress through the years.